How do you tell if the water you're drinking is safe to drink? No matter where your water comes from or which brand it belongs to, it always has a certain amount of dissolved solids in it. So how do you find out for yourself? Well, today I'm going to check out this neat little device by Xiaomi and this is a water TDS tester. This comes from Banggood.com and retails for only $6 and in my opinion, this is a must have if you're going camping or in general going to drink water from a source that you're not sure about. If gadget reviews, DIY projects and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Hey guys, welcome back to my booth, Irfan here. Let me give you a short explanation about TDS. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids and is measured in milligrams per liter or parts per million, PPM for short. No matter how clean your water or whichever factory it is coming from, it will always have a certain amount of dissolved solids in it. And it is not always a bad thing. These solids are usually a combination of salts, minerals, cations, anions, and sometimes organic material which it can pick up from its source, for example, a spring running through rocks that have a high salt content and mineral content underground or pick it up along the way to your house uh, in distribution in plumbing, runoffs, etc. Some of these are important for human body when consumed in the right quantity like sodium, zinc, magnesium, iron, etc. However, in excess, it can be dangerous. Not to forget, sometimes harmful materials can also slip into the water stream like lead and arsenic. The TDS test is a simple way to check the general quality of the water. According to some sources, a TDS of below 30 should not even be consumed. It has a really flat taste which is undesirable and not healthy like distilled water. And according to the Environmental Protection Agency, uh, EPA of USA, up to 500 ppm is ideal for drinking. If it goes above 1000, you might want to reconsider. Now that we know the basics, let's unbox our gadget. So it comes in a really simple box which is completely labeled in Chinese. So I'm gonna dive right in. Here is the device. It looks uh, very much like a thick pen. There's a button here which says TDS uh, next to an 8-bit screen uh, which displays the numbers. On one end we have the battery compartment with two small batteries and on the other side we have a cap below which are the two electric terminals. This is the side which you dip in the water. To test it, I have four samples of water here. My main aim with this video is to check the accuracy of the device and in the next video I'll be measuring the TDS of all the different brands of bottled water mainly in Dubai so don't forget to subscribe. So the first sample I have is distilled water which is basically pure H2O and nothing else. So I'm going to remove the cap, press the TDS button once to switch it on and then dip it straight into the cup. Alright, it shows 1. Well, technically it should be 0, but I can understand that can be quite difficult to achieve with the packing and all. Uh, so this is as distilled as it can get. But at least I know now the machine is working fine. Next up, I have standard uh, bottled water, which you get in those 5 gallon sizes. Uh, this one reads 130 which is pretty much the standard of bottled drinking water. Next up is tap water, which to be honest I've been drinking most of my life. This reads about 300, little up and down. So still in the very much ideal drinkable range. And finally I have something which I think will break the machine, seawater. That's right, for my last video of the waterproof case I paid a visit to the beach and I thought it would be a good idea to fill up a bottle and bring it back. As I predicted, it goes blank. Basically, this device can measure from 0 to 10,000 ppm. Uh, well, 9999 to be precise, but the TDS of seawater is much, much higher. In fact, according to my research, it has a ppm of about 35,000. That means it roughly has 35 grams of salt per one liter. That is a lot of salt. I'm going to try and dilute it with, say, five parts of bottled water and one part seawater and see if that brings it down. Wow, look at that. In spite of all the diluting, it still shows 846 into 10. In the other tests, if you notice, the into 10 sign doesn't appear. In this one, it does, which means even after all the diluting, its TDS is 8460. Even now, it is about eight times more than the recommended maximum drinkable limit. Alright, to sum it up, this is a fantastic gadget. It's sort of a must-have if you travel a lot, even if you don't, it's good to have one around. It's portable, solid build quality, good brand, and for just $6, it won't break the bank either. I'll leave a link in the description box below along with a 10% off link if you purchase it through the Banggood app.
that's it for now guys if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button below and subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews life hacks and facts you can also follow me on instagram facebook twitter and instructables all the links are in the description box below click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my youtube channel for more and as always thanks for watching